Hallelujah. 
There's not like you. There's not like you, God. You are an awesome God. You are a great God. Holy. Holy. And I magnify your name, Lord. I worship you. There's not like you. Awesome God you are. touch, oh God, you woke us up. Oh God, we thank you for the touch this morning. We thank you for just touching each and every one of us this morning, oh God. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, but Father, just with your touch this morning, you woke us up and you crowned us in our right minds. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been so good to us, oh God. You've been mighty, mighty, mighty good to us, oh God. When we weren't even good to ourselves, God, you were good to us, oh God. And Father, we thank you this morning. Father, we ask that you forgive us of all our sins in word, thought, and deed, creating us a clean heart and an upright spirit. Father, we thank you that we can come to you this morning and thank and praise you, oh God, for you are such a mighty God. And God, you know each and every one of us by name. 
You know each and every one of us where we live at, when we move, God, you know us. You know us better than we know ourselves, oh God. And Father, we thank you this morning. Father, we just thank you for who you are this morning. God, you're a prayer answering God. And Father, we thank you for bringing us out through every situation that we go through, oh God. We don't never know how we're going to go through, but Father, you bring us through every time, oh God. Father, we thank you for our bishop this morning. Father, we thank you for blessing her and keeping her, oh God. We thank you for te her teaching us, oh God. Teaching us how to live holy before you, oh God. Thank you for her teaching, oh God. Thank you for her reading and getting in the depths of you, oh God. Listening to what you say and bring to the church, oh God. We thank you for her, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, how you manifested yourself to her, to us, oh God. That Father God, Friday night when she rose up to get Louis about the church, oh God, she was able to walk to the office by herself, oh God. Nobody might have noticed, but Father God, I thank you that I didn't have eyes to see that. Lord, she did it by herself. She went in there, oh God, depending on you to get her there, oh God. She said, let me go and I will do this. And I thank you, oh God, because she put Satan on her feet and let him know I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And Father, we thank you for her endurance, oh God. We thank you how she's Pressing in, oh God. Pressing into you to know that she can do all things, oh God. There's no value in you, God, but it's in us, oh God. So, Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the prayers of the righteous avail much, oh God. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for how you manifesting yourself in the body of Christ, oh God. That you're bringing us together in unity. That we can lay, every, lay aside every weight that's so easy to store us, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God, that we will come together. That we will do this in your name, oh God. We can do all things, oh God. You said all, oh, not half, but Lord, you're going to make us whole once again, oh God. Father God, what you did on 420, you can do it at 115. And Father, we thank you right now for manifesting yourself. We thank you, God, for allowing us to come together, oh God. We fall down, but we surely going to rise again. You said your people shall rise, and we will rise. We are more than conquerors, oh God. Through you that loves us, oh God. And Father, we thank you this morning. We couldn't do it without you, God. But it's you knitting us together. You're not crocheting us. You're knitting us together. That we will do what you say. We will put on the whole armor of God. And we will stand. We will stand for your stand for righteousness sake. We will stand because you're a holy God. You made us, oh God, and you created us. And you know what's going on. And Lord, you told us in the word of Friday, just a touch. That we take off the old man and put on the new. So Lord, this is the dressing room. So let us get dressed. Dress up for you, oh God. And know that you want to lead us through this battle. The battle that's going on in the world, Lord, is not to go in the church. So God, you dressing us up. That we'll be able to fight in that world. That we'll be able to do what you call us to do according to your will. That you will let, your, let our pastor know what you're saying in these last and evil days. To lead the flock ashore. To lead us to you, oh God. How to get to you with righteousness. No lying, no backbiting. Oh God, we read the book of, book of Ephesians, oh God. To let us know what not to do. But we got to put on that whole armor and live for today, oh God. Father, we thank you right now. Bless everyone that's in here. Raise them up, oh God. Raise us up together. That we can fight together. Not one another. But we can fight the war that's coming against us, oh God. We can fight that apple that's saying, you know, you guys saying, y'all you know, can't do it. But Father, we know we can. We know we can. And we thank you for our leader that stands among us, stand with us, stand around us. She's that mother that keeps her wings abroad around us, oh God. But when we fall, she chastises. But Father, you do too. So Father, we thank you for the chastisement that help us to grow in you. To know what you're saying in these last and evil days. God, you called her to do the right things before us, oh God. You called her to be that leader. You called her to be that pastor. You called her, Lord. So let us be followers of the leader. Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. All we all these many blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Bless every one of your sheep in that house today, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to stop and think about what the word is saying today and take the scriptures home and dissect them. First Corinthians 10. 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. God don't want his children ignorant. He don't want us dancing without power. 
He said, how that all our fathers was under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for well, they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. My thought on today is Christ, our spiritual rock. Ah, folks think that they're doing it themselves, but Christ Jesus is our spiritual rock. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus Christ, the rock of redemption. I was redeemed by the blood of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, no matter what sermon you preach, a lot of times sin is in it, repentance is in it, coming out of it is in it. So if you find a church that don't preach sin and don't preach repentance, you need to run up out of there because you're not going to get what you need. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, I don't care how saved you are, there's things you write that you need to repent of. Amen. There's things that you've done or said that you need to turn it over to the Lord. Amen. You don't need to sit down and say, I ain't did nothing. Come on. That's not me. Because we love to do that sometimes. Point the finger at somebody else. That's not me. Jesus Christ is our solid rock. Jesus Christ is our spiritual rock. Jesus Christ is the rock of our redemption. In Acts 4 and 12, Jesus is the door by which we enter into salvation. And I want you to know that you can't get saved no other way. Salvation come no other way than by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We must repent of our sins. We must ask God to forgive us. Amen. And he is the one that can forgive us. Thank you, Lord. I don't have a problem with asking God to forgive me for something that I didn't know that I did, or maybe I didn't. Show it to me, Father, so I can ask forgiveness. Praise God. I ain't ashamed to apologize if I've done something wrong. I'm not ashamed to come and let you know I'm sorry. See, we got a, we got a problem with saying I'm sorry. Ain't no saint got no business having a problem with sin. I'm sorry. That's right. I made a mistake. Yeah. Right. I was wrong. Yeah. I want to make it in. Me too. And I don't want nothing at all to hinder me. Amen. And that is Hallelujah. it. And the worst in 12 and 4 and 12 of Acts, it tells us this. There is, <coughs> neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. They ain't going to be saved in my name. You ain't going to be saved in no minister's name, no pastor's name. It has to be the name of Jesus. Can I say that again? Amen. I said it has to be the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. When we repent of our sins and believe unto salvation, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, everything become new. We've been talking about a lot of newness here lately. We're changed. When you're not changed, if you 
You ain't new until you change. Praise God. Glory to God. I go in the closet. I didn't just buy that yesterday or day before or last month. It's not new. I've worn it before. It's not new. I done put it on. It's old now. Praise be to God. So, the one thing about it, don't ever think because you got saved in 2007 or 9 or 10 that you don't need some more now. <laughs> Praise be to God. Renew your mind every day. Yeah. Renew yourself every day. Yeah. Through our rock, our spiritual rock. Because yeah. Jesus is right there. And he's right there. And you know what? We, I'm waiting for the Lord. No, you ain't waiting for God. What you waiting for him to do? What is it that you want him to do that you are waiting for him to do? No, he is waiting for you. He is waiting for you because Jesus has done everything that needs to be done for us to have salvation. He's done everything that needs to be done for us to be saved. And it's time for us to... I ain't pointing the finger over here across town. I ain't pointing the finger down the street. I ain't pointing the finger even in here. I am saying, this is my life. This is where you point the finger to. This is who you want to, who want, who want to think God going to deal with you. He ain't going to ask you about your sister. He ain't going to ask you about your brother. He ain't going to ask you about none of your family members. If you don't witness to them, like we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be a witness. A witness to our family. Let your light shine that they may see, but then, you know, they don't want to live it. They just want to try to pick it back off of you. That don't work. That don't work like that. You got to get Jesus Christ for yourself. He got to come into your life just like he came into my life. Praise God. And let me say this to everybody, me included. Death is going to come. That's right. And the way you live it, that's the way you're going to die. I cannot say you were saved or you wasn't saved. Are you going here? Are you going there? I will say this. If you don't have that spiritual rock, and if you're not repentant of your sin, then you're not going to live with him. You're not going to get that mansion and that crown. I will say that. Praise God. And so we see people every day. Do we let them know about Jesus? Do we let them know that Jesus loves them? We ain't got no business crying. Oh, this, um, this is the word now, y'all. It said you ought to rejoice when they die. And it also said you ought to cry when they are born. Now, uh, that is scripture. The preacher said that. Now, praise be to God Almighty, but we got that thing backwards. We do. We moan and groan and hoop and holler and, and do a lot of things and cry for months and months and sometimes years. What can you do? They gone. Nothing. You can't do nothing. If you didn't do it while they had breath in their body, ain't nothing you can do now. So you talk to God about it and ask God to lead in God and give you the strength to go on. Praise God. So much for that. Amen. 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 When we make a total commitment to Jesus, we got to. You got to. I got to. Ain't no different in a pastor making a total commitment to Jesus than you. Do you know I got to die? That's right. Do you know I got to stand before that just judge and give an account? I got to stand there and you know what? He know everything that I have done, good or bad. I'm just like you. Only thing is God called me to be the leader of this people. God didn't tell me to go across town and lead them to the church. God didn't tell me to go in another state and lead nobody over there. God put me here, 115 East Goodell, and that's where I'm supposed to stay. That's where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to do what God has called me to do. And I'm supposed to make, make sure that I lean and depend on the rock. On that spiritual rock, which is Jesus Christ. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Hallelujah. I have made a, a commitment. <clears throat> and each one of us 
has to make that commitment. I'm not here trying to live your life and you're not trying to live mine. And I should hope not. I'm not trying to walk in your shoes and I hope that you're not trying to walk in mine. Mine's is too big for you and yours are too small for me or yours too big for me or whatever. But we got to walk in Christ. We got to live in Christ. We got to have the mind of Christ in order to live in this cruel world. This world is really cruel. The people's in it. The world is good. I won't say that. I got to take that back out there. The world is good. It is the people that is in the world mm -hmm. that is cruel. Yeah. And no matter how you look at it, some folks don't want nothing to do with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Some folks can talk a big talk, but they can't walk a big walk. They can just say, I love the Lord. He's the head of my life. Oh, my God. If he is the head of your life, then tell me this. Why are you going contrary to, to the word? Why are you going all away from what he said to do and what he said for us to do? Children of God, he is our rock. There is no rock like our Savior. Amen. There's no rock like Jesus. Hey, praise be to God Almighty. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, he cleanses us. Yes, he does. So he leads us, he guides us, he cleanses us. He takes us where sometimes we might not want to go, but if we listen to the Holy Spirit, we'll be going in the right direction. This is part of the redemptive work. The Holy Spirit is part of our redemptive work of Jesus Christ. Psalm 62, 6-8. Thank you, Lord. I'm here to tell you, saints of God, God is good. I'm just taking my time. It ain't no shouting message. It's just a message from God. 62, 6-8 verse. Hallelujah. He only is my rock. Now, when you're talking about the rock, and we're talking about Jesus, all in the old covenant, he talks about the rock. Not just the New Testament, not just the new covenant, but the old covenant is talking about the rock. And Psalms in here, praise be to God Almighty, said he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Amen. Where is you going to go? Where is you going to hide? Where else? Except in God. The devil, I, uh, uh, hey, he, he said he'll cover you for a little while, huh? Then he gonna show you up. He gonna make sure everybody know where you at. That's the devil for you. But God is your refuge. God is your hiding place. God is your strength. God is everything that you need. Hallelujah. If they knew it back there in the Psalms, they knew it. David knew it. Amen. David knew it. The other prophets, they knew it. Hallelujah. You got a better covenant than they had, so you know it, that God is your strength. You can't walk in your own strength. You find out, and I, I know that some folks in, found, in full gospel has already found out that, praise God, they can't walk in their own strength. You got to go in the strength of God. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust in Him. Yeah. Not sometimes. All the time. Ye peoples, talk to all of us. Talk to you peoples. Pour out your heart before him. Yeah. What are you going to do? Cry out Cry before out God. Out. Tell God what's going on. Yeah. Tell God you need help. Tell God. Talk to God about it. Why are you running over across town talking to somebody else? They can't do nothing about it. God is the one that can. Yeah. God is the one that will. Yeah. If we would learn how to trust in him with all our heart. Trust in the Lord. Are you hearing me? Amen. Praise be to God. 
God is my refuge, uh, our refuge, and he is a refuge for us. Yes. Isn't that good? Yes. Surely God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, yes. above all that me and you or any of us can ask or think. Yes. I'm talking about the God of my salvation. I'm talking about that spiritual rock that I walk in every day. I'm talking about that spiritual rock that covers me every day, every night. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't know, man. If you don't know Jesus, Amen. you see Jesus, it's supposed to, next month, it's supposed to be the month that Jesus was born. But you know what? It doesn't matter what month that he was born. But one thing I do know that he was born. Glory. Hallelujah. And I'm Glory. glad that he was born because I wouldn't have had no salvation. Glory. You know, he, he could have been born and not died, but he was born and he was buried and then he was rose. And that's what my Sabbath, come on here. Amen. He took all that on his own body. He took everything in his own body, everything that we could even yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the that Jesus didn't already handle. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm talking about that spiritual rock. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. All right, number two. Now, number one was the rock of redemption. Mm -hmm. Now, number two, that he's the rock of restoration. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He will restore you. Yeah. See, sometimes we get down. Who you think going to lift you up? Jesus, Jesus is the one that's going to lift you up. Amen. Sometimes we're going through stuff on the job, going through stuff in the home, going through, this, going through stuff with children, with wives and husbands, going through things. But who are you going to talk to about that? Who are you going to lean and depend upon for your restoration, for restoring you? Come on, somebody. You ain't got to get all mad and bothered and get even. Come on here. Jesus said the battle is not yours. It's mine. Psalms 40 and 2. Oh, hallelujah. I tell you, saints of God, God is an awesome God, and God wants us to know who his son is. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Amen. Y'all, yes. we talk about Jesus, and but do you really know who he is? Do you really know what he can do? Or uh, is just word, just, you just reading something? No, I don't want to just read something. I want to know what I'm reading, Amen. and I want to know how this scripture is going to help me. Amen. I want to know, God, what he's saying. What he's saying. Hallelujah. What are you saying to me? Yes. Not not to what are you saying over there to Minister K? Uh-uh. I want to know what you're saying to me. Yes. Then, you, you, then she can ask for herself what you're saying to her. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. 40 and 2. He brought me up also out of the heart of a pit. Yes. Every one of us was in a pit. Yes. Every one of us was a sinner. Yes. Ain't nobody born saved. Come on, somebody talk to me. I said, ain't nobody born saved. Yeah. Every one of us was born in sin yeah. and shaped in iniquity. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. And he out of the mire clay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and set my feet upon a rock and established my going. And that rock is Jesus. I am set on G. That rock is Jesus. I can't do nothing without him. Why is it that we try to do things on our own when Jesus is our soul? He's the one that leads us. He's the one that got us through the Holy Spirit. If we would stop sometime, you know, sometimes we might read the word and just go ahead on because we're in a hurry. And we read a few scriptures. I read my word today. Come on. Read a few scriptures and go ahead on about your business. Because you ain't got time. Look, look, to make time for God. Yeah. Right. We need to make time for God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody here? Amen. Jesus is the Christian's protection. Uh -huh. When the storm of life is raging in your life, and we've had some storms, y'all. Yeah. I ain't talking about the, 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 the these uh, hurricanes. I'm talking about the storm that the enemy is putting you through. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about you going through this, and I wonder why am I going through? Why am I? Why ain't nobody else do, going through? You don't know what nobody else is doing. Right, yeah. right. Amen. 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 Know your enemy. Yeah. Know what he's doing, yeah. but know who's gonna bring you out. Yeah. Yeah. Know your strength. 
Know your rock. Know your rock is Christ. Jesus. Uh, Jesus Christ. The anointed one in his anointing. The anointed destroys the yoke. Anybody here? I said it is the anointed that destroys the yoke. Thank you, Lord. He is the destroyer of the yoke. Thank you, Lord. That storm of life is raging, and he is our rock, in whose shelter we can be safe. Or we can be safely hid. Oh, you can't. Where, where, you, where is you going to hide? Where is you going to hide? You know what? A, a, a earthquake can come along. A, a storm can come along. A tornado can come along. You hide in your house and blow your house to pieces. The best thing for you, for you and me, is to hide in Jesus. Yes. So whatever happens, I'm here. Yes. Whatever happened, I might be blown away. But whatever happened, I'm in the, in the arms of the Lord. Anybody yes. here? Yes. You got to know that you're in his. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. He is your rock. Yes. He is your spiritual rock. Hallelujah. There's no rock like our Lord. Amen. There's no rock like our Christ. There's no rock like our Jesus. I don't care where you go and try to hide. You can't hide nowhere but in him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, he shelters us. He keeps us safe. Jesus is the Christian rest. You can rest in him, can't you? I say you can rest in him. Things are going to more. Things are going all over the place. Praise be to God Almighty. Everything going wrong. Seem to be going wrong in your life. And all of a sudden you know you need to rest. You're tired. Your mind is tired. Your body is tired. And even your spirit get a little bit tired. But you need to rest. But you got to grab a hold to Jesus. You got to grab a hold to the Lord. Whatever is going on. Whatever is going on in your life. The only person that can fix it is Jesus. The only person that can make you safe is Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He is your spiritual rock. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. He is our rock. Yeah. He is my rock. Yeah. Ain't that right, church? Yeah. When we need, when we become exhausted, and sometimes we do. Yeah. You, you become you're so exhausted, you can't hardly lift your hands and like you got some lead in them. <laughs> Can't even lift your hands up to the Lord and, and give him a, a wave offering or give him a praise offering. Lift your hand. Come on. Somebody they feel like they drop it out on your side. And you know, I've seen that. Can't nobody to lift your hand and praise your Lord, praise the Lord, wave your hand to the Lord, wave your hand. God knows who we are here sometimes. Come on. Come on. God don't ask us to do what we can't do. We can do it. You got to have him in mind. Hallelujah. Sometimes we become so exhausted by our hurrying and our scurrying. Amen. Because we're tired. Because we're busy all the time. Always busy. Always on the go. Always up and about and out and about. and On the go. Do you ever stop to say, uh. I'm going to spend this hour just with Jesus. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not watching no TV. I'm not going to do none of this. It's just going to be me and Jesus. Don't give us stop that. Stop it. Let's let it go. Let everything else go. Hallelujah. Sometimes the saints of God, the saints of God just need to do that sometimes. Hallelujah. You say, I love the Lord. And you can sing songs of, I love the Lord. <laughs> And you're in such a hurry all the time that you ain't got no time for this rock. You ain't got no time for the Lord. We need to make time for Jesus. We do. You know what I, I, I think about, and as I read, I think about heaven is a place of not sit down. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to go to God and tell him all about it. God ain't here nothing. <laughs> what you going to tell him? Glory. That he don't already know. All right. <laughs> You ain't, ain't no, in heaven, you ain't sitting down. You're sitting in your rocking chair, rocking. Come on, somebody, talk to me. <laughs> you ain't going to be sitting down, honey. You're going to be busy. Yourself going to be busy. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. We better get to studying about it if you really want to go. 
You better get to reading about what heaven is all about. Come on here. It ain't no place to go there. I'm going to just lay back and relax. No, you ain't. <laughs> you got enough of that, that right here. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't, a, ain't God good, y'all? Amen. 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 We can find healing. We can find healing through prayer. God has all, because you know he said he already done healed us. Yeah. I, I give you, what kind of prayer are we praying for that healing? I don't pray never for God to heal me. No matter how much pain I'm in, I don't pray God heal me. Because he already gave me the word that I'm already yeah. healed. Yeah. So what, if, I, if I'm still asking you to do something that you've already done, what is that? Okay, I, I, you ain't got the answer. Amen. You ain't got the answer, but I don't go asking him for some things that he's already done because he already did that. Yes. I know the pain in my body is not from God. God didn't put it here. It, it's from that devil, but I'm still rebuking him and still giving All God right. the praise yes. for moving every day. Yes. Yes. Getting up to yes. move. I might not be moving like I used to, but All I ain't right. young like I used to be either. Right. But the yes. point is this. I'm moving. Yes. Yes. God is good, y'all. Yes. I find healing. I find healing. We got. We have to speak those things that are not as though they were. Yes. I ain't gonna ever say I ain't got no pain. On, then I'm lying. Uh -huh. If I say I ain't, I ain't in pain, I'm lying. But I'm healed. Amen. I'm waiting for the manifestation of what God has already done. Yeah. And I thank you for it right now, Jesus. Amen. I thank you. I give God the praise and the glory for what he's done in my life. Amen. In my life, I ain't sitting at home feeling sorry for myself. Amen. I ain't going nowhere feeling sorry for myself. Amen. I praise God that when I go out somewhere, somebody helps me with my groceries. Somebody help me put them in the car. Somebody will just stop strangers. Just stop. Help me put it in the car. You, I thank God for that. Amen. I said I thank God for that. Woo! But I ain't, you, they ain't never got my, got no long face looking down like I ain't got no joy. Right. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah. Amen. And they, they ask and they help me. I said, oh, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm here to tell you thank you. Amen. Amen. Because you didn't have to do that. Right. Amen. Because see, with me, I'm going to get it done. It might take me a minute, but it's going to get done. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because I know in whom I trust in. Yes. And God always sends somebody. Yes. God yes. always sends somebody. Yes. Have anybody here? Amen. All right. As long as y'all still here now. <laughs> ah, the prayer. And there's some promises in God's word. They're found in God's word. Psalms 37. Uh -huh. For Rest in the Lord and wait patiently on him. 37 and 7. Mm -hmm. 37 and 7. Yes. Amen. We got to learn how to rest in the Lord. Yes. And wait. Hey, do we, do we wait? That's it, we ain't got no time to be trying to wait. No. God taking too long. I'm going to have to do this myself. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Come Please. on, Bishop. That's it. The, the word of God said wait. 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 You got to learn how to rest in him and do what? Wait. You got to mind it. Don't be in such a hurry and a scurry and always got to be on the go. Running, running here, running there. Ain't getting nowhere. All right. Just minute time. Mm. You got to wait. You got to get some patience. Ask God for some patience. That patience that you lost. Yes. That patience that you ain't got. Just ask God. Yes. 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 Hey, Jesus. What he does. Yes. He restores our strength. In the time of need, when you think and feel that you're so weak you can't keep going and you can't go on, hey, he restores your strength. He is the rock of restoration. He is that rock, people. To those who trust him, how much? Completely. Don't go halfway trusting God. You got to trust him completely. Don't say I trust him anymore, you don't. Come on, Bishop. Don't say today, oh, I'm so high on God. I, I trust him. I know he'll do this. And I know he'll do that in the morrow. God, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, keep your faith. Keep your belief. Keep your trust. Know that God is the same yesterday. And you go, he's he the same right now, today. And then no matter what happens, he's going to be the same tomorrow because he is God. Yeah. 
Yes. He is God. He don't change because you want him to. Uh, yes. Anybody here, he don't change for you. Yes. It's because you think he ought to be this way. No, 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 no. Thank you, Lord. He is the rock of restoration. You got to trust him. You got to trust him completely. Don't say I trust him and don't. You got to trust him. Don't you know God know everything? Come on, talk to me, somebody. It ain't nothing hid from him. He knows everything. He knows whether you're telling the truth or not. Psalms 23 and 3. He restores my soul. What about your soul? He restores my soul. What do he do when he restores restore my soul? He leadeth me yes. in the path yes. of righteousness. It's for his, for his name's sake. Uh -huh. yeah. He leadeth me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Give me glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Ah, that Psalms 23 is good, though. Yes, yes, yes. Now, number three. He's a rock yes. of resolutions. Hallelujah. Now, we did read Psalms 40 and 2. Uh -huh. Did it also say, he set my feet upon a rock. And then, not only that, he establishes my goings. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and those sisters going over there walking all crazy and crooked. He establishes yeah. my goings. Many Christians are undependable. Mm -hmm. Undependable. You can't depend on them for nothing. <laughs> that ain't the way a Christian's supposed to be, is it? No. Now see, I asked the question. I'm going to ask that question again. <laughs> That's not the way Christians is supposed to be, is it? No. no. Thank you. <laughs> we supposed to be what? Dependable, <laughs> not undependable. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah, up Glory. today and down today. <laughs> See, she put it on tomorrow, but I said, and down today. Because a lot of folks is in the morning, oh, I'm up, I'm high, I'm, I'm and all this stuff, and amen. amen. Four, 12 o'clock, get here, they done wore out. Wow. They down. Come on. I don't want to be up and down. I don't want to be on a titter top. I want to be dependable. If I say I'm going to do something, I I want to be able. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be able to do it. If not, then I'm not going to tell you that I'm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, don't lie. That's right. The Bible says a lie won't even tear in his sight. Yeah. Don't lie. And if you say it, they say, well, if it's the Lord's will. Right, right. Because yeah. every, every day take care of itself. That's right. Mm -hmm. right now, faith is right now. If, but if it's the Lord's will that I do something tomorrow, see, I'm supposed to go to the hospital tomorrow if it's the Lord's will. Because yeah. I might not be here. Good. He might be the bust the cloud. That's yeah. good word. And I'm out here. And won't need no hospital. Y'all hear me though? Glory. Amen. I'm looking for Jesus every day. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I said I'm looking for him Amen. every day. Yes. Y'all better get to looking. <laughs> you know why? Because the thief don't let you know when he's coming. No, no. Jesus don't let you know when he's coming either. But there's some signs that he'll be here soon. Anybody here? Amen. Many Christians, I don't know about you. I hope you are dependable. You're up and you're down. You're in and you're out. You never know where to find them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I had to laugh about that one, you know. Hey. I, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I won't go there right now. I will eventually. Because God always, when, I, when, when he's got something in my spirit, it might not be for right now. But he always comes back around yeah. and give it to me again. Uh -huh. In the right time. Uh 
right now is just not the time for me to expound on that one. But praise God. Amen. First Peter 5 and 10 said Jesus wants us to be established when we give God first place. How many of us do that? God's supposed to have first place in your life. You know, it's hard sometimes for folks to get up and come to the house of God to praise and worship Him, uh, to give Him glory. But somebody can call and say, you want to go to the mall? Boom. They <laughs> and then, how, what time? How come we got to take that long? No. God ought to be first place before the mall, before the job, before anything or anybody. If God is not first place in your life, you need to hit the altar. You need to come to the altar and ask God's help. Because God said he will have no other God before him. God said there will be no other before him because he is a jealous God. And I'm so thankful that he's jealous of me because I'm definitely jealous of him, but I don't mind other folks having him. All right. Say that again. I don't mind other folks having this man of mine. Glory. Praise God. I love to share him. I do. I love to share him. Because he is something else. And I try to tell folks how that something else that he is. Because he is. Are you here? Amen. All right. When we give God first place in our life and trust him. Implicit. You gotta trust God. I trust Him. It ain't nothing that I don't trust God with. I trust Him. I don't trust man, but I trust God. Amen. Now I ain't gonna tell you I put man there. No, no, no. But I put God there. Yeah. Because I know if God said it in His Word, it shall come to pass. Amen. I know if God made me a promise, I can look forward to it. Yeah. Man promised this and don't show up. Come on, somebody talk to me. Man said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and don't do it. Uh -huh. Come on. And most of the time you got to keep calling and asking, well, is you going to come? Is you going to do it? Help me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I think I need some help here. Thank you, Jesus. He enabled us to make the right choices. Anybody that's in him and he in them, you won't make choices on your own. You will ask God. You will acknowledge him and he will help you to make the right choices. Quit trying to do the thing on your own. Ask God. Yes. Anybody here? Amen. I'm going to say it again. Ask God. Yes. When we are determined to live for Christ, he establishes our lives yes. and keep us from falling. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. You know, I love, I love that. I, I do. I love that verse. I, I, I love that chapter. Praise God. And I'm going to let y'all read it. I ain't going to. Thank you, Jesus. You got to learn how to acknowledge him. You got to. What is it that, that you sit home? Why would we sit home? Bow down our head. If there's something going on, acknowledge God. Talk to God about it. Tell God this, that, and other. It's not that he don't already know. But the point is, Open up your mouth yeah. and talk to him. Because yeah. he's an easy God to talk to. Yeah. Open up your mouth and declare these things unto him. Are you here? Yeah. Now, number four. Mm -hmm. He is a rock mm -hmm. of rejoicing. Yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. Give God the praise and the glory. Hey, lift them hands up. Shout for joy. Hey, man, shout for joy. Quit being miserable when you come into the house of the Lord. Why? Why? Why are you coming in here and then you're miserable? You can stay at home and be miserable. I ain't trying to not. Look, 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 look. I'm, not, I, I'm just saying. I, I'm not going to be made miserable. I ain't going to let no faces. I ain't going to let nobody make me miserable. Now. We have to cheer up. Get that joy that God has. Cheer up. 
Come on. Yes. Laugh sometime. Yes. Laughter is good for you. It's good medicine. Quit sitting with your head hung down like you ain't got a friend. Jesus is a friend. Yes. Jesus is your spiritual rock and he will hear you. He make intercessions for you. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. What is it about Jesus that we don't understand? He got everything that we need. And if you want to be saved, you want to be delivered, you want the joy of the Lord, go to him. Amen. Mm. 42, Isaiah 42, 10 and 11. Listen to this. Some Christians mar, they mar their testimony. Because, praise be to God Almighty, by they being weary, Unhappy faces. Their face look like somebody done beat them. Somebody done hit you and you like, I can't bring it up. Come on. No, but you you testify that God is good. You testify that God give you what you need. Come on, baby. And you're weary. You long faced it. You ain't got no smile nowhere. You got your eyes are sort of dead. Praise God, they just, you just looking through them. Come on, somebody. We need come to get on. some joy here. Yeah. We need to let the Lord come in and do what it is that God does. Yeah. Yeah. Who are we? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we don't no. even say, I don't, see, I, I don't look for amens in the church. I don't ask for amen. And if I do, I say, say amen. And I know that you know the scripture when I tell you to say. I know that you know it because I've been talking to you. Hey, but I'm not a person that every time I say a few words, I tell you to say amen. I, I don't do that. No, I don't. it don't mind me if you don't say a word. It don't bother me if you don't say a word. Because I set myself in my face like a flint. In my head. I set my face like a flint. And I can look straight on. Come on, somebody. Amen. I don't beg for you to say nothing. But I always say, are you here? Is anybody here? Now, that's my word. Is anybody here? Amen. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. Because if you've been taught the word down through the years, you know what it says. Amen. It ain't something new. The word of God is all not to be nothing new to the saints of God. Because that's something that we ought to always do, study. That's correct. Hey, you got to show yourself approved. Yeah. Anybody here? Yeah. That, that's, it, that's it. Is anybody here? And you ain't never got to say amen for me. I don't live off amen. I don't. I don't. I ain't begging for no amen. Y'all hear me now? I want you to hear what I'm saying. Amen. I ain't got no weird face. I ain't got no long face. And I don't want my face to be looking like I am so out of it. I want y'all to see happiness. I want y'all to see what Jesus is doing. I want you to see that Jesus is working in my life. I want you to see him. That's great. That Jesus is in me and I'm in him. Yeah. Praise God. That's what we ought to be able to show for. Yeah. Our living rock. Yeah. Our spiritual rock. Which is the anointed one in his anointing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Them faces. Get a, get a smile on if you have to fix you more. <laughs> I know it's somewhere. You get one. I don't know. Praise God. They fear Christ. For he expects us to witness. Christ expects us as his children to be that witness for him. And you can't be no witness when you look like you ain't got no friend <laughs> at all. Like, like, you, 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 you look like you ain't got no human friend, but you ought to have a friend in Jesus. Yes. We got to. He's our friend. Yes. Yes. Glory. Glory to God. Hey, what you going to do without him? You can't do nothing without Christ. Get that in your head, children. You can't do nothing without him. Hey, when you wake up in the morning, yeah. that breath, yeah. 
He gave it to you. Yes. Glory. Praise yes. God. You don't know what you're doing when you go to sleep at night. You know. But he keeps you. That's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Woo. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So him, we got the witness for him. Joyfully. Joyfully. Why y'all say? Now I'm I'm not, I'm just not I'm just saying. I didn't say y'all said y'all y'all. But why are the peoples that say they love God say all the time. Sometimes, sometimes you know what I used to go. I ain't been a long time. Sometimes you go and all these folks sitting up in the pulpit and all of them say, "How come y'all ain't got no joy?" Sitting up here, all of all chairs full, of everything. Everybody got a long face. Mm -hmm. Everybody said, "Why? You serve a true and a living God." He ain't said, "That's right." Why are you say? How and and I'm sitting out there, looking at you, mm -hmm. and don't want you to pray for me. You saying, and how are you gonna get this prayer through? You ain't got no faith in your own self. And you show sure must not have it in God because God will give you the joy that you need. Yes. Anybody here? Amen. Amen. You can make yourself be joyful. Say, what do you know? Now, Sister Sharon says all the time, I choose joy. Yeah. 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 You can choose to be sad or you can choose joy. Whichever one you want to, that's up to you. Yeah. I ain't trying to tell you which one to choose, So, but I know which one I'll choose. Because the joy of the Lord, Brother Chris, is my strength. I make it for his, from his joy. Because of his joy, I can make it. I can do what it is I need to be done. That needs to be done. I can make it. Don't ask. Don't. I ain't never would have been a beggar. Never have. I never. Sometimes I might ask somebody to do something. But hey, I ask Christ. I do, I ask Christ, and some folks know that I don't ask nobody to do nothing. But I will ask the Lord, and he'll yes, send somebody. Y'all hear me? Yes. We got to be joyful here on this earth, yes. here in this church house, mm -hmm. wherever you go. You know, I said to y'all before, don't go through the line all mad when you go in the grocery store, and you talk about I'm a Christian and trying to witness to somebody, and the next thing you know, I, they don't want to be that type. They don't want to be that type of Christian. You can't witness to somebody for them to be a good Christian and you bad. All right. We got to know yeah. that when we go through the line, let's be joyful. Yeah. Treat that cashier right. Amen. Because they make a mistake, don't get the mad and they got all the frown on your face. <laughs> I've seen it. Right. I've seen it. Right. Folks mistreat folks. And they said they're a Christian. I've seen it. Come on, we ain't got no business doing that. If we got that spiritual rock, if we got Jesus, there's things that we are not to do. There's things that Christians ought to know not to do. You can't lead nobody else to the Lord when you don't even know. I'm about ready to close. Thank you, Jesus, Christians who are forgiven. Forgiven. You're forgiven Christians. You are a forgiven person. You forgive folks for the wrong that they did. Cleanse them. And on their way to heaven. Are you that Christian? Are you that Christian that has been cleansed and cleansed by the word of God? Are you that Christian that has forgiven the people that has wronged you? Are you that Christian? Are you really on your way to heaven? Do you really know that God can say to you, well done? Do you really know that you live in that kind of life? It ain't about me knowing what kind of life you're living. It's about you knowing. It's about you knowing what kind of life you are living. Praise God. Should you be happy in this earth with the peoples on the earth? Are you happy with your neighbor? 
Are you happy with your sister and brother? Or you can't wait to get out of here and talk about them? And sometimes you talk about them sitting up in the house. I'm moving on. Psalms 37 and 4. It said, Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. If Jesus Christ is our rock of rejoicing, hear, believe. I believe that he is. We should also rejoice with him in the life to come. Are you going to be with him? I do you have that hope? Do you have that hope? Praise God, but you don't. You don't know what you hope so, right? Are you walking in faith and love like you're supposed to do? So that your hope can be for real? He is the rock of ages. He is. He's the rock of my salvation. You know that old song said, Rock of Asia, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. El, you should really sing that song. Rock of ages, cleft for me. I want you to hide yourself in your spiritual rock. Walk in it. Live in it. Let him be your source of everything that you do. Let him be first place in your life. The rock, that spiritual rock. Moses, the children of Israel followed Moses in our opening reading. And it talks about that uh, when they went to the Red Sea on dry land. Talks about the cloud that covered them with fire. How Pharaoh gave up the ghost, his army. But the song said they was drowned in the sea. Drowned in the Red Sea. But not the Israelites. Not Israel. I am not going to be drowned in, in this world by the cares of this world. Jesus is my rock. Yeah. He's the rock of my salvation. Yes, he is. God bless you. Access Vision, your voice, your community.